let VEA help you turn the lights on. The kids are getting ready for the upcoming pet food drive and supply drive to be held at Walmart on Saturday the 27th from 10 to 4. And this is all to support Desert Haven Animal Society, right? That's correct. Yep, uh, it's a good opportunity to help the community club support our community um, shelter. How many kids are participating in this? It's basically uh, the community club is involved and we have about 14 members here. And you guys decided to do this. Is this going to be something that you're going to do annually or pretty frequently? It certainly could be. We do, we're do. we very involved in the community and doing public service and fundraising for different community members. How did you identify the animal shelter? Uh, they're definitely in need. They uh, gave us a list of items that they need, and the kids thought that the uh, helping out the animals seemed like a great idea. If people can't make it on that date, can they drop off items before or after? Items can be dropped off any time from now until the drive, uh, Monday through Thursday here at the Cooperative Extension Office from 8 a.m. until noon. And you are here at uh, Calvada and Dandelion? Correct. We're going to be standing outside of Walmart and having people come in and donate. And, and uh, here at the Cooperative Extension, you can just drop in anything you want, so that's, that's cool. How do you like forage? It's super fun. I'm mostly involved in archery where you get to shoot bows. They provide the bow, the arrows, the arm guards, basically everything you need. And there's also a community club, which is what the uh, pet food drive is being done through. Well, um, we love animals and we like to help them. So we heard about um, the animal care shelter. Um, we're just going to be in front of Walmart. We're going to ask people if they're going to donate, and sometimes they say yes. And then we have some thank you suckers and stickers.